It is day three of GMA Day's Side Hustle Reality Star Edition, and our next guest is a true queen of reality TV. You know her best from RuPaul's Drag Race. Take a look. Hallelujah! <laughs> Please welcome actor DJ Pierce, better known as Shangela. Hello, 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 how are you? Hey, hello, darling. Hey, hi. Hi. Nice to see you. Yeah, Have a seat, thank you. Thank, thank you for being you. here. Okay. Oh. Shangela, you're the only contestant to compete three different times on RuPaul's. So did you... What was your most memorable experience of all of that? Well, you know, I'm a legendary comeback queen, true. Okay. Uh, but my most memorable experience is never winning. <laughs> because I've been to the show, I've been to the show three times, I've never won, but I've never given up. And it's given me so much great perseverance, I just keep coming back, honey. Yeah, as you should, as you should. But I, I was reading a lot of comments of the fans, and they're upset that you haven't won that competition. But at the same time, you are winning in life. You're doing yes. pretty well. well thank, I'm a working girl. Yes. yes. <laughs> well, we, we're going to talk about... So we, we talk about side hustles. Your side hustle isn't exactly a small one. You're an actor. You're yes. a, a, a theater person of the arts. In a, to the point that you're in one of my favorite movies. In a big movie. Ooh. Yes, one of my favorite <laughs> movies. If you haven't seen it, it's one of the best movies out there, A Star is Born. Yes. Hallelujah. Bradley Cooper, Hallelujah. Lady Gaga, and you. Yes. So when you're in a movie with Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga, do you pinch yourself? Well, you know, I'm from Paris, Texas, a very small town. Oh, yeah. So now to be in this film, I feel like Cinderella. And I'm like, ooh, please don't let it be midnight ever, OK? <laughs> <laughs> no, but when you think back to that first season of RuPaul's Drag Race, did you ever imagine eight years later eight you would years. literally wow. be in a film with Oscar buzz? No. I always imagine myself working, because it's about going out there and putting the work in to make your dreams come true. But I never thought I'd be here for this. Thank you. But here I am, you know. I'm here. I'm with you guys. It's an amazing feeling. But you know, your passion, your drive, that's why your fans love you. And we found a super fan oh. who you helped out earlier. Her name is Vignetta. She's a working actress and writer here in New York. And you helped her out. You, you, you gave her the whole makeover, oh. all this stuff. Because you want her to channel her inner diva on her next big interview that she has, or her audition. So we're going to bring her out right now. Everybody, welcome Vignetta. Hi, thanks for being here. How are you? Good to see you. Have a seat. Shangela, that you love so much. First of all, I just want to say you are robbed on All Stars. <laughs> <laughs> we were rooting for you the whole time. No, but I love you, Shangi, because you exude such a fierce confidence, mm. and it's infectious. Thank you. Like I love how when you came on the scene in Drag Race, you only had a few months of experience under your belt, but you stole the entire show in all of our hearts because you believed in yourself. Yeah. 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 Oh, I love you. Thank so, you so much. No, but I'm, a, I'm an actress here in New York. Yes. And I just want to know, like, what advice do you have for me as far as tapping into that well of confidence when I walk into an audition that room here? Yeah. Oh, that good. inner Shangela. You don't yeah. get the full makeover. Yeah. Wow. I, love that. <laughs> I, lo I love to share this because I think so many people are out there going for their dreams, and yeah. you uh, has so much talent, I'm sure. So now let me give you the little extras, my Oprah yes. moment, okay? okay. Um, <laughs> so first, I say you have to really. You have to feel it. When you go in that audition room, you want to look it. Whatever yep. they're asking for, for the role, y'all had to go as black Marilyn Monroe to get the, originally for the uh, Lady Gaga role in the film, who are, they're phenomenal. Um, but you're going to look it. So that's first, I like to give myself a little extra, okay? Mm -hmm. yes. And you can see in the makeover, like, we put a little extra shimmer right here in the highlight. Cut that glass cheekbone, okay? <laughs> and then also, a little pop of glitter on the eye, just to sometimes, you know, give a little extra. Yeah. And a bold lip, let them see where the words are coming from, baby, yeah. <laughs> you know, and then, and then I follow that up with the second thing I like to do is make sure you feel it. You want to get a mirror, huh? Here, oh, look, huh, uh-huh, uh -huh. Here, I got a mirror. Professional, oh yes. Practice. So I get like to look hustle. in the mirror like this, okay. and I like to look right there, and I like to say these words. You are you the are. one. The you one. are the one. That's the it, one. that's it. Let them know. You have to build up. 
build up that confidence so you know you are the one they're looking for. You feel it when you walk in the room. And then when you walk in the room, you actually walk in, honey, you have to do what I like to call work it. Okay? Whoa. Yes. Yes. Show them how to work it. Oh, okay. I should be see if I can get up here. A little work it action over here. Yes. So I like to just, you know, this is the moment. This is the moment when I have like the Beyonce moment when you feel a fan. Look at that, you didn't know where the wind came from, did you? All right. And then when you walk, you just want to walk and feel the momentum and the fan. Work it, work it. Come on, work it. Come on, B. You got it, B, girl. Start here. Check her out.